Good morning, everyone, and thanks to Dermot and the College for the chance to speak today with such a great line of speakers. Over the next five minutes, I'll take you very quickly through my path to medicine and to public health medicine. So for any Bruce Springsteen fans in the audience, you'll hopefully get the reference when I say that I was born in the USA. Um, I was born in a town called Situate, south of Boston, and that's your second travel recommendation of this morning. I moved to Ireland in 1996, so I've lived here ever since for the most part. And growing up, I had a lot of different interests, and as I got older, I was hoping that my career could be a blend of those. I loved writing, I was an absolute chatterbox, uh, really loved reading as well. Um, health was always of interest to me, and health behaviours, particularly uh, nutrition and physical activity. And it wasn't really until the kind of latter stages of my final year in secondary school that I got, I guess, a little bit of a boost of confidence to apply for medicine. And that was the same year that the HPAT test, or the Health Professions Admission Test, came into Ireland as a, a new requirement or additional requirement to go for medicine. So off I went to do that, which didn't go that well uh, the first time around. And so what I actually did for my first year of college was my uh, second choice, which was Human Nutrition and Dietetics, which is between uh, DI College DIT and Trinity. And that was an amazing year. I was disappointed at the time not to get medicine, but actually it was an amazing first year in college, great people and really fascinating subject. But I'd loved the HPAT so much that I decided I'd try it again. Um, and so I went back and this time was, was lucky enough to get into medicine in the five-year undergraduate program. And as I'm sure everyone knows, it's hard to put that length of time into words, but there are a few kind of pictures that try and tell a story along the way. This is a picture from an early class trip to Berlin um, early on in our five years, which was a great bonding experience. This is my mum and I when I was in Baltimore doing an elective and final year at Johns Hopkins uh, University, which was a rude awakening into what lay ahead for intern year. But we look a bit happy there, I guess. And then that is the end of the five years, a day many of us thought might not come during the long nights in the library, but that's my friend and I, my friend Kira and I um, on graduation day. And then I guess my path to public health medicine began after that. And I wasn't really sure coming out of college what I wanted to specialise in, as many of us aren't. So I started off my internship in St. James's Hospital and continued on to do my senior house officer years um, through the basic training programme um, in general medicine um, and did my medical memberships during that time. And again, that, that's a period of time that's also hard to put into words in five minutes, but just some highlights from that time. This is myself and my friend Anna at our first international conference during intern year presenting our first, our first audit. This is myself and my colleague Isolt, and hopefully Mary doesn't mind appearing in this picture as well, but this is our medical memberships graduation day. Um, and bringing us back to the theme of yoga from Sean's talk, this is my other friend Kira and I when we brought in a series of well-being focused events for our fellow NCHDs doing yoga, mindfulness talks and a nutrition focused evening. So you can see my interest in health behaviours had continued and I guess coming to the end of my SHO training, what I was really getting interested in was prevention and the idea of prevention in medicine and how we can use prevention to improve our health. I was doing a lot of reading and writing around that time and what kind of ended up happening was that I decided to add to my workload and start a blog in 2016, which I called The Irish Balance. And that was really my first foray into public health communication, although I probably didn't really appreciate that fully at the time. This is a picture of me, not on the X Factor, as the background might suggest, but um, winning an award for the blog uh, in 2018, which is a really proud moment. Pursuing that interest, I couldn't really leave it behind. And so I went back to school, to UCD, to do a master's in public health for a year in 2018 to see with public health and prevention in medicine what I wanted to do. This is a picture of me at the end of that year with very tired and very baggy eyes submitting my thesis, which was on shift work and health behaviours. And in that year, I applied to the Higher Specialist Training Programme in Public Health. I moved to Galway to start that in 2019. Six months later, and the beginning of 2020, as we all remember all too well, and the COVID-19 pandemic arrived. And so it was a bit of a baptism by fire starting off in public health, but I got to work with some amazing people and, and learned a huge amount in a very short space of time. This is a picture of one of many sunrises um, over the long walk in Galway, which any West of Ireland fans will hopefully appreciate, all within two kilometres of my, of my home at the time, but it really kept me going um, from a mental health perspective. And since then, I've worked at national level in the National Cancer Control Programme and Health Protection Surveillance Centre, getting to work with, with a lot of different public health colleagues and stakeholders on great, really interesting projects that have had population impact. And just in July of this year, um, I worked, was delighted to work with Sean for a year working in PwC Ireland doing one of the management consulting fellowships that's affiliated with the RCPI and has recently introduced and now expanded to EY and Irish Life Health since. And that was really an amazing one year experience with it's a picture of myself and, and Sean there and our colleague James Murphy, who's training in geriatric medicine. And both James and Sean really gave meaning to the word fellowship and friendship over that year. And we got to enhance our, our skills in leadership, project management, um, stakeholder engagement and really organisation and just work with a lot of different people. It was brilliant. And so in terms of what's next, I might have to come back to you in a few years if you're kind enough to tell you how that works out, but I'm in the final three months of my SPR training 
and looking ahead to, I guess, the consultant path and hoping that that goes well. Um, so again, we might be, have to stay tuned on that. And I might just leave you with, as I know I'm out of time, just a quote I've taken with me on my journey. Um, and it really, the COVID-19 pandemic brought this home for me, but it's to enjoy the little things for one day, you might look back and realize they were the big things. It's very easy to get caught up in that career, um, you know, progression cycle and just, it's important, I think, to remember the, the small things along the way too. Thanks so much.